Hey guys, today we're going to be sharpening that knife that I made from a saw blade. I've actually been sharpening it for probably a total of about four hours. If you add up the, the various days that I've been trying to put the edge on this thing. <laughs> This is aluminum oxide and this is high-speed steel. Extremely hard and uh, just barely slightly harder than this. So it's taken a while. It, it is going to get it though. Let's get to it. I've been working at this for a while and I am not quite there yet. It's sharp all the way along from here to here, here to here. The little spot is just not quite apexed. So what I've been doing is going across and then when I get to that area that needs it the most I slow down and go real slow through there. And uh, what happened was when I made the knife, I think I left it a little too thick in this section right in here. So something to, to, to notice if you are making a knife is uh, use a caliper. I should use the caliper and checked it. Definitely uh, learn from my mistakes, see it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and try to get rid of the rest of this burr. Then we'll see how sharp it is on a paper test and, uh, and hit the water stones after that and see just how sharp it will get. All right, here we go. <laughs> steadily going for probably 45 minutes and I'm still not there. tempted to just hit the stones because I know they'll cut faster. I just want to see how sharp the wind will get it. Alright, we got paper here. Set this back a little bit. Alright, little magazine paper. Let's see if the tip's sharp. Oh my goodness. Wow. The tip is just... I, I've honestly never how to tip poke through paper this easily. Wow. Man, that's, I mean, that really is good enough. There's really no reason I should go farther than this for filleting fish, honestly. But I still got to do it. Let's get it sharper. All right, so we use a, an 800 grit Japanese water stone now.
So since it's already pretty sharp and established, I'm just using light pressure. Being careful not to mess up my tip, because man, that tip is good. I don't even really even need to get to my tip, but I am. All right, that's probably good. I'll flip it over. Definitely feel burr. I'm gonna go really light now. Just a few passes in each area and flip it. Feeling pretty good now. All right. Should I go 3,000 grit? Yeah, I got to. Let's go 3,000.
That's good. Now let's drop it. Okay, now let's do the hair test. Oh yes, oh man, look at that. Just one swipe across, it gets every single one. Real sharp. Yep. Wow, that's really good. Cool, oh, paper test. Man, this is so smooth. Wow, all the way down. Man, that's good. You should try that trick where you fold the paper and push it straight down and see if it can do that. Let's do that. All right, so this is the real test. We're gonna fold this. Let's see, fold it like that. Okay. Oh, it worked. This is sharp, yep, this is a sharp knife. Yeah, it has to be sharp to do that. That's good. Dang. So that's a wrap, guys. As you can see, the steel is uh, very hard. It did take me at over over four hours, probably closer to five, maybe more, to get this thing sharp. Um, I anticipate it will be a little easier going forward, um, but it, it doesn't help that the stone I'm using is aluminum oxide, which is just a little bit harder than this steel right here. This steel is probably in the mid-60s as far as uh, hardness goes, being it's a high-speed steel and extremely wear resistant. So. But I do anticipate this knife lasting a long time, and man, this edge is sharp. I can't wait to fillet something with it. So, uh, hoping to get a sheep's head possibly this week. We'll see if we can play a sheep's head with that. And I do have some videos coming up. I'm going to be fixing this knife with this chip blade. I'm going to basically reprofile this whole bottom part and give it a new edge. And then um, I'm also going to be putting a handle on this machete. This old cracked handle has got to go. And uh, I'm not going to just rehandle it normal. I'm going to probably use uh, some wild orange. This is a sour orange wood that I, I got out of the woods about. Mm, I live in Florida, so we have wild orange trees in the woods here. But I, I got these out of the woods about a year or two ago. And they've been sitting on top of my refrigerator in the garage ever since. So I'm ready to do something with them. So I got that. I got this one's already debarked. And uh, a lot of possibilities to make a handle with one of these. So. So stay tuned and check it out and uh, hit like and subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified for the next time a video comes out and I hope you have a great day. Let's go.